hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to prehistoric kingdom alpha my name is swoop there and here we are in a park that i built well I, it's not actually a park really i just terraformed an entire map a fair while ago now um and i had a few people suggest that it would be really cool to see a bunch of dinosaurs in here so we are actually going to do that we are going to chuck a whole bunch Yay! in here like big herds of them. I don't know how many we can do without me literally breaking the game, but we're gonna do quite a few. So let's just get to it, shall we? Um, I don't think that I will need a speed build, but if it does take ages, I'll just quickly pop it into a speed and you'll see me pop all the dinosaurs down. And then once I've done it all, then we can sort of wander around and look at them. Otherwise I'm just gonna carry on here and I'll keep talking for a bit. So what we actually need before we start, so this is obviously the map that I created. Um, it goes down here to this end where there's a couple of sort of um, river end points. And then you've got this big pool over here beside a mountain or kind of a cliff face. And then this other big pool over this side with a bunch of um, rocks as well but in order to actually have dinosaurs in your park in pre-k in um, pre-k <laughs> um, alpha you need to have a hatchery so let's just do that first um, park infrastructure I haven't built one of these in so long animal nursery so we just kind of chuck that there and I think it does require power yeah so even though it is alpha we still need to pop in a power facility so that we can power this some nice nice clean wind power there we go all right now let's jump in gosh i've even forgotten open genetics lab that's how we do it all right let's start with a herd of edmontosaurus right so let's just breed a bunch like a bunch of them all not enough funds help me i'm poor no. oh right of course because We've got to get guests in and i'm pretty sure what happens when you let the guests in is you just get heaps of money so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a path can i even afford a path that's the next question i'm just going to have a path that is literally going to go like this invalid placement i mean why okay there we go look at that an amazing path where they can just wander around and look at whichever dinosaurs happen to be out in the open because i'm not putting any fences all right and then let's just here they come so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed the game up and let's see how quickly the money starts rolling in okay all we're back with a lot of money going on down here i have popped one t-rex in because they tend to bring in the guests i've also just popped some shops around the minute i put some shops in this money just started to absolutely skyrocket so we're now obviously 41 42 43 million it just keeps going up so i'm just going to leave these here for a bit while we add all the dinosaurs into the park then i will delete everything um i'm also just going to terminate this t-rex and we'll pop some more in in a minute um, then I'm going to delete all of this and it will just be a park. I'll cover up the entrance with a bunch of trees. The Edmontosaurus that I put in just before, um, despite not really having herding kind of animations, they have really just stayed and they've really got the entire park that they could roam. They've really kind of just stayed in this area, which I don't mind. They do move in herds. Like, so when I go and get some more, they're kind of just going to be in this area, which will be good for the cinematics at the end. So you can see there's one here that's kind of decided that it will um, wander in. Oh, hello. You are lying down under the water. You do know that, don't you? Gosh, I can't wait till we get underwater um, animation. Okay, come on then, Amber. I think this is probably not the best spot for you to be. Let's Whee! move you back over onto dry land. Um, that was quite funny. All right, so let's head back over this way and we will continue to breed more at Montosaurus.
Oh. Hej. Okay. I mean, that's a cool screenshot. Can we just pause for a minute? I might hide all of this away. There we go. I mean, who knows how you got up there, though? I'll just keep going along, though. All right, most of these at Montesaurus have bread now. Just finish popping them all in here, and then we'll go and do a different dinosaur. So we've got this big herd of Edmontos on this side, and then I think what we'll do is we'll put another herd maybe over this side right here. We might do the Lambiosaurus next. Oh, I love this skin. Isn't that just lush? And the males are even brighter. Like, look at that. It's so beautiful. And you can move them around and really see, like, what they look like. Even in alpha, this is such a great thing for us to have and look, be able to do. And you can see, like, the person here it shows you how big they are in comparison to people. So some of them, I think these ones are all the same size. Oh, look at that skin. It is just incredible. I've forgotten what these skins are like because I haven't looked at the Edmontosaurus. Nope, you're wrong. It's really early in my first park. Um, all right, I want loads of these ones. Let's go. All the females are a little bit smaller than the males. All right, let's go. Bunch of these and a bunch of those. Okie dokie. We'll just exit out of the lab. We'll find the new home for the Edmontosaurus. Okay, so in go our last lot of Lambiosaurus, my favorite skin, these ones here, the males. Look at the difference in size just here, it's so great, so cool. All right, let's pop these in. And you can see, like if I just pause it here for just a moment, like even though these one, two, three, four are all males, all their coloring is slightly different. Like this one is a lot brighter than this one. You can see like even in alpha, I mean, this is so cool how they've done this. So none of them have the exact same color, um, which I really like. Like I really like that they've done that and they've included that. So there you go, guys. There is our um, Lambiosaurus herd. Um, hanging around down this end. So now we are going to go and pop in another herd of dinosaurs. Let's go with <laughs> I reckon we're going to go with the Styracosaurus next. So we'll get a bunch of those and we need to press play so that they actually breed and a bunch of the females. The males here have got such a cool skin. I like this blue sort of look on them. We turn them around. This looks so great. Okay, everyone, here is our Styracosaurus herd. Just slow down that time so you can have a little look. I mean, look at this dinosaur. It's so cool. Even just with the basic animations that we have in Alpha, they just look so great. I'm walking through the reeds here. So great. Like 
there's quite a few of them going under the water, which I mean, they probably won't do in beta, I don't think. There we go. <laughs> there's heaps of them under the water. How by drowning? Oh well, that's fine. Um, all right, let's go and do the next lot of dinosaurs in the hatchery. I'm pretty sure I can just access it from here, right? Yeah. Um, Nozutoceratops, and off we go. Okie dokie guys, this is what you've all been waiting for. We are now going to do Tyrannosaurus. We're just going to do one of each of the skins. Um, a female and a male of each skin. And then we're going to put them in different areas so they kind of have their own territories. And there we go. So they will breed and then we're going to kind of select those two and release them. What we'll do is we'll release them over on this side of the park so they can kind of have their territory over here. These two and then we'll release these two right here kind of like on this side of the park not on nav mesh interesting i mean i wonder what that means can i not right okay is it navigatable mesh that so they can't actually navigate like hills and things this steep Duh. which seems weird because they can obviously get onto the rocks like up here weirdly enough okay let's just place those two down there then now the feathered dinos can we put them like up the top here no that's such a shame all right let's pop them down kind of maybe give them this area down here And then the last two, release them. Maybe kind of over this way here. All right. So there we are, guys. We've kind of released everything that we need to. Look at these guys here. Amazing skins. Right, Odawa. So cool. All right. So now that we've released all our animals into the park, I'm actually going to film some cinematic shots of all of the animals kind of wandering around on their own so you guys can see what they look like and it's them sort of free roaming around. So I hope you enjoy that and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so it was at this point I went back into Prehistoric Kingdom to get you all some cinematics to watch for the end of the video and sadly the following happened. So you do see some screenshots at the end but unfortunately I wasn't able to get the cinematics. I'm super sorry but that's just the nature of Alpha at the moment. Hopefully I can do something similar in the future and you'll be able to see some decent cinematics in one of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What the heck? Am I unpaused? Fast forward. Why is the mouse looking like that? Oh my gosh. Oh no, we've got bugs. None of the dinosaurs are moving. We are statues. Oh man. Oh no, and an autosave. Okay, that might fix it. Let's just wait and see.